can something as simple as a display fundamentally change the way I do my day-to-day -day work activities? To figure that one out, we first need to define what those work day-to-day -day activities are. So I split it into several categories. Starting with administration. This is where I drown in emails and swim my way back up. Then we have documentation. When you make expensive movies, it's nice that everyone knows how, but let's be realistic. Meetings still take up a good chunk of our workday. We work our way around issues together and creatively solve all our problems. Editing and grading is something I really enjoy. Being able to tell a story just by using a razor blade, it's a pretty good feeling. Occasionally I get to use some of my problem solving skills. Helping out with a script or a full tool is awesome. Whatever works, right? Right? Thanks to Espresso Display, who hooked us up with a 10% discount. If you use my affiliate code Martin10, you get 10% off your purchase. So go ahead and spec up your display and apply my code at checkout. It will calculate the discount when you apply it. Link in the description. Now, let's get back to what this display can do. Sup? Today, we're focusing on the Espresso 17 Pro. This is a paid collaboration between Espresso Display and myself. I've spent months researching and testing their products. So what I'm saying in this video are my own thoughts based on my experience. I have first-hand experience with the team at Espresso and their products from earlier. And I wouldn't have made this video if I didn't believe in the products and the company itself. So let's dive in to how I use the display as a CG supervisor at one of Scandinavia's largest animation studios and as a content creator. The 17 Pro, as the name implies, catered to a professional audience. It's a 17.3 inches display with a resolution of 4K running at 60Hz. It has 1 billion colors running 8-bit plus FRC, covers 100% DCI-P3 with a peak brightness of 450 nits. It brings touch and pen input to the Mac. And it's portable, so you can bring it along for a ride. In a world where we are always on the move and our workspace constantly changes, portability and efficiency coexist in this ongoing carousel we call our day-to-day -day lives. It's a big deal to be able to set up a complete workspace no matter where I am. My office shifts between home, the actual office, and anywhere. I start my day with what I call admin hour. I like to do this while enjoying a fresh brew of coffee surrounded by the inspiring interior of coffee shops. Starting the day sitting down alone with no interruptions allow me to set up the day. I check my emails, update the calendar, look at material that ran overnight, reject and approve shots or assets, and report both upstream and downstream and production. I work on tickets with our pipeline team to make sure everything is running as smooth as possible. Sometimes you might find yourself at a location without power and the espresso charge can power up your laptop so you can still use the display. Ironically, I ran out of power shooting this scene. It packs a whopping 32,000 milliamp hours and connects magnetically to the stand so you can keep going a while longer instead of packing down with a sad face, which I was close to doing. To make sure our team always have what they need, I create and maintain documentation for our tools and pipeline. The documentation mastermind is Coda at work and Notion at home. I do tons of writing, both in landscape mode and portrait mode. Since the display connects magnetically, you can flip it around in a matter of seconds. This is also my favorite way to write code. And the boxes on my screen help me visualize the documentation. This is all Miro. If you don't know what Miro is, it's a fantastic tool that allows you to do everything you ever wanted on a digital whiteboard. This tool got wildly popular during the pandemic for obvious reasons. 
I use it whenever I need to break something down into nodes. It's a quick way to visualize pipeline steps, breaking down chapters in a book, well, pretty much anything. The pen is a natural choice for interacting with the whiteboards and allows me to keep my hands close to where the action is, instead of reaching for the mouse and going back and forth with the keyboard. In my line of work, I often need to create graphical representations of our always changing pipeline. It's important that everyone knows who does what, in what order, and what department is depending on who. All the alternative nodes, connections between them, text, icons, images, and other graphical options make Myra one of my all-time favorites for this type of work. Since the display has touch, I can also navigate using my fingers. You can navigate, but you can also use your fingers like you use the pen as a tool. Technically, you were born with 10 pens. There are so many different meetings to get through in a day. Sometimes you wonder how many trillions of dollars are wasted in the world daily. I often do one-on-one -on -one meetings with artists. Hi, Shethin. Hi. <laughs> In these meetings, we would typically go through how-tos and fix issues. At the start of my Espresso journey, they wanted me to test Jot. A Jot is Espresso's quick sketch software. The tracing paper function lets you draw on top of your screen. So it's easy for me to explain what's going on and hop back and forth between software and the paint overs. With this setup, all parties get a clear visual feedback. As you can tell by now, the 17 Pro isn't all about being on the move. It's also a tool I use extensively with my desktop setup. My weapon of choice for editing and grading is Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve. When the 17 Pro is hooked up to my setup, I can keep the timeline on one display and view footage on the other. I like to use the pen to edit attributes like transforms and effects, editing the clips and work with the controllers while grading. Just like with Myro, I can use my fingers to navigate the timeline in Resolve. This makes it fun and easy to interact with the edit itself. Since the 17 Pro is so color accurate, I can trust it when I'm grading my footage. So, to answer my own question, yes. This has changed my way of working. Not only does this display work great as a companion to my rig at home, it also joins me wherever I go. And don't forget, life isn't always about work. GG.